the most important news in the world, you need a newspaper, don't you? No, I don't. It's right here in the Gospels. The Gospels are the four books of the Bible that contain the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. But that book is really old. That's because the news I'm going to share with you is from the year one. But, but there weren't any journalists back then. So, how were they able to report the news? Well, it was the most important news in the world, so it wasn't a journalist who reported it, it was... An archangel! An archangel? I love angels! Did he have wings? It looks so pretty! Don't you think it's beautiful? Well, I don't know. Do you want to see him? Then close your eyes and we'll use our imaginations to fly there. And if you want, you can come too. Wait, hold on. You mean we're going to fly back to the year one? Wow, fantastic. Isn't that amazing? But, but according to the laws of space-time combined with Einstein's general theory of relativity, that's impossible. You know, I didn't understand a word you just said. There's no need for big calculations or anything like that. We're going to fly with our imagination. It's easy peasy. We're going to imagine we're in the year one in a little village called Nazareth. Come on, you can all close your eyes too. If you close your eyes and give me your hand We will travel all together to a faraway land We're gonna learn about Jesus, our way, our truth and our life All in the Holy Gospels which fill us with His light Bible Stories <laughs> Hey, Tassio, when are you going to learn to land? Yeah, come on. You're a parrot. You're supposed to know how to fly, right? Tassio is learning. Mark, learning. Poor Tassio, they're laughing at you because you're learning to fly. Did you hurt yourself? Do you want me to make it better? Mwah! How about that? We're in the year one. We travel back in time. Yes, with your imagination, you can go anywhere you want. Can you see that house over there? The one with the flowers by the door? Exactly. That's the family home of the most blessed Virgin Mary. That's where the most important news of all time is going to be announced. It's so pretty. I want to live there. I'd plant daisies around the door and I'd have a little pink puppy. Bah! Girl stuff. Okay. Luckily, I brought my reporter outfit and my camera. As three-time prize-winning reporter Tony Lamoni said, the people have a right to know. Okay, we get it. Will you stop going on about this Tony Lamoni? 
Hey, he was the most famous reporter of all time. We can all learn from him. Yeah, but you can't compare him with... Ta-da! Yes, it's Chewing Gum Man! Chewing Gum Man can fly defying the laws of gravity! You have to drop these Chewing Gum comics and concentrate, Joe. We're about to see something historic. <laughs> Does Chewing Gum Man always hang around upside down? Okay, maybe he doesn't do it exactly like that. According to my calculations, Chewing Gum Man can stick to any surface in the world. I don't know if his superpowers would function with the same degree of effectiveness on other planets. Why do you have to talk that way? I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Come on, guys, pay attention. We can fly down to the house. Wait a second, we can fly? Uh, we can fly. Uh. For a body to fly, it requires the application of a vector force proportional to its mass. We don't need to worry about that, because we're going to fly with our imagination, right, Christine? Of course. Using our imagination, we can go anywhere we want. All we have to do is... Jump! Uh. Ah! Oi! Ah! Hey, you could have fallen on someone else's head. That was amazing. I love flying. I love this little house. I love... Shh, don't make so much noise. Look, we're outside the most blessed Virgin Mary's house. Come on, let's peek through the window. Look, the Virgin Mary is praying, and she doesn't know what's about to happen. What is that light? Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. It's an archangel. The archangel is like a reporter because he's bringing news from God. Shh. It's the archangel Gabriel. Now listen, this is very important. You will give birth to a son and you must name him Jesus. You see, the archangel is telling her that God has chosen her to be the mother of his son Jesus. And what did the Virgin Mary say? Right! Did she say yes? This is so exciting! She hasn't said anything yet. Let's listen in. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. She, she said, said yes. yes! Exactly! The Virgin Mary has agreed to be the mother of God. From this moment, Jesus is in her womb. <laughs> you can close your mouths now. That goes for you guys at home, too. I have to get an interview with the angel. This is amazing. Does you take a photo? Ah. Oh, come on. The angel's long gone. Ever since she was a little girl, the Virgin Mary did God's will. How would she have refused at a time like this? Yes, thanks to her, Jesus has become a man so he can open the gates of heaven for us. Okay, I want to do God's will too. But how can I be sure what God wants me to do? Well, you see, if you want to know what God wants, it's a good idea to pray for a while every day. Like the Virgin Mary did? Right, because she was praying when the angel came, wasn't she? Exactly. She prayed every day. If all of us pray for a little while every day, we can get in tune with God. Me, me! Okay, okay. What is it, Enrique? Do you mean tune in like tuning into a radio station? <laughs> Honestly, you think everything's about being a reporter. You know, it's kind of similar. You have to be on the same wavelength as God. How about that? You see, it's like radio waves. Well, we have to be going now. But, but, what about my interview? As three times prize winner Tony Lamoni said, you gotta be in the right place at the right time. Our readers have a right to be able you to- You can do that some other time, Enrique. Now let's close our eyes and get back to the treehouse. You can close your eyes at home too. That was amazing. Ah! Honestly, Tassio, just when are you gonna learn to break? Leave him alone. Don't be mean. He's trying really hard. Wow, I bet he crashed into the flower bush again. At this rate, there won't be a single flower left. Poor Tassio. Don't worry, little guy. I understand. Okay, let's get back to the story. In the Holy Gospels, you can read about the life and teachings of Jesus. Do you have the Gospels at home? If you don't, you can ask your mom and dad to buy you a children's version with pictures. Look at this! The story of Jesus began when the Blessed Virgin Mary said yes. So is that the most important news in the world? 
Exactly. From that moment, the story of Jesus began. He saved us from sin and opened the gates of heaven for us. And all because the Virgin Mary said yes. What? I believe, Jesus, that you are in the tabernacle, very close to me. Every Catholic Church Thank you, good Jesus For remaining with us Living with us forever Right by our side We pray to our Lord in the tabernacle. Well, children, we're going to have a time of prayer to Jesus, who is present in the tabernacle. And how is Jesus present in the tabernacle? Jesus, who is our God, is in the tabernacle in the form of bread. We call this the Blessed Sacrament. He told us himself that he would be with us until the end of the world. Wow! You children at home can also speak and listen to Jesus. Just visit your local Catholic church, and when you go inside, Use the holy water to make the sign of the cross. Before you sit down in the pew, genuflect before Jesus in the tabernacle. Before we begin to pray, we make the sign of a cross like this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now put your hands together like this. Can we pray in our own words? Yes, of course. That's the idea. Sister Lucia, will Jesus listen to us? You know, when you speak to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, it's as if he were putting aside everything he was doing and focusing all his attention on you. Wow! Well, shall we start, Christine? Jesus, help me always to do your will, just like the Most Blessed Virgin Mary did. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. And now you at home can also pray with us. Can you repeat the words after me? Yes? Right. Jesus? Jesus! Help me always. Help me always. To do what you ask of me. Amen. To, to do, do what, what you ask, ask of me. me. Amen. Amen. That's great. You see, praying is really easy. Jesus. You always want the best for me, even if sometimes I don't understand. Lord, help me realize just how much you love me and that you are always with me because, well, you know, sometimes I forget about you. For example, you were with me when I played soccer. Or when I'm studying, you're always by my side even though I can't see you. Sister Lucia? What is it, Ava? Does God have a plan for each one of us? Right, like when the Virgin Mary was called to be the Mother of God. Well, of course, God has a plan for each one of us. And you know what? It's the best plan because God wants us to be happy. In that case, Mother Mary, please ask your son Jesus to help me know his plan for me. That's a very good idea. You know, God reveals his plans for us very gradually. Often we have to see the will of God in little everyday things. So we have to stay alert if we want to know what God wants for us to do in each moment. Like helping at home or being good to our friends? For example, when I lose a game, God asks me not to get mad. Or if Christine asks to borrow one of my toys, I lend it to her gladly. Well, yes, those are the little calls of God. Of course, and that's why it's good to pray, so you can stay on the same wavelength as God. <laughs> you know that's true. You're absolutely right. And how can we hear the will of God? because God doesn't whisper in your ear. The best way to stay tuned in is to pray and be a good Catholic. Spending a little time in prayer every day is a great way to be on the same wavelength as God. Right, like a radio. Jesus, I want to be on the same wavelength as you. Help me to understand what you want me to do in every moment. I'm gonna visit Jesus at the tabernacle every Saturday. I'll spend some time in prayer to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. And I'll talk to him in my own words. I'll tell him I love him and ask him to help me do his will. That's great. Now let's finish our time of prayer by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father. In, in the, the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father. And of the Son. And, and, and of the, the Son, Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And, and of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. 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 Our 
our mother, the church, has always taught us the road to heaven, cause this is our goal. Catholic faith. Hi everyone! We're in the 13th century and this is a Franciscan monastery. Today I want to introduce Brother Benedict of Arezzo. Hello children, it's a pleasure to spend time with you. I bet you're wondering why we're with Brother Benedict. Well you see, he's going to teach us how to pray the Angelus. Hey guys, wait a second, I think Tassio wants a drink. Huh? Ah! Tassio's fallen in the well! Come on! Tassio, are you okay? Don't worry, he'll be fine. Tassio's a great swimmer. Yeah, but we have to get him out of there. Let's see. We need to build a pulley and calculate the opposing force. This is the prototype. Whoa, I don't get this at all. Don't you understand Newton's third law of motion? I failed math. Don't you remember? Well, boys, I don't think we need to do a lot to solve this. We'll use the bucket. Listen up, Tassio. We've thrown the bucket down. Climb inside and we'll get you out. Tassio very scared. Tassio soaking wet. <laughs> hey, we were really worried and you were only just snorkeling. Well, children, the operation was a success. Poor Tassio. Come on, cutie pie, let me dry your feathers. Well, children, we were talking about the Angelus. Do you remember? Brother Benedict, did you invent the Angelus? <laughs> well, I began to pray the words that the Archangel Gabriel spoke to the most blessed Virgin Mary. Do you know what those words were? Me, me! Put your hand down, we all know. The words were so beautiful that Brother Benedict of Arezzo started to pray them every day. Exactly. I began to pray them. Over the years, the custom spread throughout the church. And now, the Angelus is prayed at 6 in the morning, at noon, and at 6 in the afternoon, all over the world. Do you mean the people from all over the world pray it? That's right. Do you want to learn to pray? You children at home can also pray it. All you have to do is read the words on the screen. Are you ready? Then let's begin. I start by saying, The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and you answer... And she, and she conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Perfect. Then we pray a Hail Mary. In the Hail Mary, we recite the same words the archangel spoke to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Yeah, the words are really beautiful. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And then I say, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. And you answer, Be it done unto me according to thy word. Very good. That means that the Virgin Mary said yes to the will of God. And because of this, God became man. He became like us? That's right. God became man to save us from sin and give us the example of his life. Then we pray another Hail Mary. And then? Then I say, And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Wait a second, wait a second. What does the Word mean? The Word is Jesus. Ah, I see. It means that when the Blessed Virgin Mary accepted God's will for her, Jesus began to live in her womb. Very good. Next, we pray a third Hail Mary. And finally, I say, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Great. And next comes the final prayer. It's very beautiful. Listen. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brother Benedict, with this prayer, we're asking Jesus to help us do his will, just like the most blessed Virgin Mary did. 
That's right. And what's more, we're asking him to gather us into heaven with our mother, Mary. Right. Thanks to her, God made himself man to show us the way to heaven. Well, I'm going to say thank you to the most blessed Virgin Mary. Can you help me? Look, put your hand to your mouth and you blow a kiss up to heaven. Mwah! Thanks, Mother Mary. At the end of this program, let's take a moment to reflect on what we learned today and how to change our lives. Through your Catholic Church, dear Jesus, we receive your peace and grace. Walking with our Mother Mary until we see you face to face. Let's review what we've learned. This is the end of the show, and Father Luis is going to help us recap what we saw today. Me, me! What is it, Enrique? What does recap mean? Well, it's when we look back and remember the things we've learned. Me, me! <laughs> Enrique? We heard the most important news in the world, and I was there to see it. The most important news in the world was brought by an archangel. An archangel who was a reporter. Oh, I love archangels! Well, that's great so far. But do you remember what that news was? Me, me! Okay, you tell him. But for the record, we all know the answer. The Archangel Gabriel asked the Virgin Mary if she wanted to be the mother of Jesus. Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. You will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus. Very good, Enrique. And what was the Virgin Mary's answer? She accepted. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Exactly. Thanks to this, Jesus became a man like us. The Virgin Mary accepted God's will, which means she said yes to the plan God had for her. You know, Father Luis, God has a plan for every single one of us. He does, and that's the best plan of all because God wants us to be happy. He loves us so much that he just wants the best for every one of us. That's right! And to find out what plan God has for me, it's good to spend a little time praying every day. Right, to be on the same wavelength as God. You're always thinking about being a reporter. Dear Jesus, please help me discover the plan you have for me. That's great. You see, God reveals his will to us bit by bit. Often we see the will of God in little things we do every day. Like not getting mad when I lose a game? Or like lending someone my toys. That's right. These are the little calls of God. Sometimes it's hard to sit down and do your homework right away. I almost never want to do it. Well, God is waiting for us in these little things. I get it. And that's why it's so good to pray. That way you can tune in to God. <laughs> yes, that's it. You're absolutely right. And how can we hear what God's saying? Because God doesn't whisper in your ear. The best way to keep the ears of our soul open is to pray and be good Catholics. To pray, you can go to church every now and then. You know, God is waiting for us in the tabernacle in every Catholic church, and he really likes for us to visit with him. Yes, and you can talk to him in your own words. Of course, that's a great idea. Father Luis, we also learned to pray the Angelus. That's fantastic. When we pray the Angelus, we repeat the same words the Archangel Gabriel spoke to the Virgin Mary. Exactly, and that was the most important moment of her life. Do you remember how to pray the Angelus? You do? Brother Benedict of Arezzo showed us. It would be wonderful to make a little pilgrimage to the Chapel of the Annunciation at our parish. Is that the one with the really big painting? That's right. Would you like to go there now? We can pray the Angelus. Take a look. This painting shows the Annunciation. This is a great place to pray the Angelus. Children, are you ready at home? You are? The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. 
The word is Jesus. You got it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and in the hour of our death. death. Amen. Now we ask the most blessed Virgin Mary to intercede for us before God. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. What does the promises of Christ mean? It means going to heaven, which is our goal in life. And to finish, I'll say a very beautiful prayer. Just listen. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Very good. You did that perfectly. Come on. Let's go back to the rectory. Father Luis, we can also tell our Mother Mary that we love her in our own words, can't we? Of course. You can look at an image of her and tell her if you want. There's a little statue of the Virgin Mary at my school. It would be very nice if you could tell the Virgin Mary that you love her when you pass by her statue every day. That could be your little resolution. What do you think? I'm sure there's an image of the most blessed Virgin Mary in your home, too. You could stand in front of that image and tell Mary that you love her. Heavenly Mother, I love you very much. Mwah. When we pray the Hail Mary, we're repeating the same words that Archangel Gabriel spoke to Mother Mary. I pray a Hail Mary before I go to bed, but I didn't realize it was the words of the Archangel Gabriel. Well, now you know. It's a good time to remind ourselves of this great event and to ask her to pray for us. And you children at home could pray a Hail Mary before you go to bed too. What do you think? Of course I understand. In the Hail Mary, it says, pray for us sinners. That means we're asking the Virgin Mary to intercede for us before her son Jesus. Very good. You know, our Heavenly Mother is the best intercessor we could have before Jesus. There's nothing like a mother's love. The Virgin Mary is our mother in heaven, isn't she? Exactly. We should always turn to her and hold her hand as we go through life. Amen. Most blessed Virgin Mary, please help me always be on the same wavelength as God. Never to let me be separated from Jesus. Dear Mother, may I say yes to what God asks of me in every moment. Intercede for us before your son Jesus. I ask this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus, for the many blessings I receive from you. Every day I want to make you very happy in my every thought and in everything I do. You once were a child, Lord, just like me. As I grow, you are. 